going on? Yeah, I want to uh, name this video right here uh, Star of Molik. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm, I'm pretty uh, fucking sure right now that the, most people don't know what the Star of Molik is. You know what I'm saying? When they should know what the damn Star of Molik is. Uh, okay, basically the Star of Molik is uh it's basically a six point star all right when you draw two triangles one up one down there's six points six triangles and on the inner uh, i think it's called a hexagon six-sided box uh that also has six points on it so you got your six 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 there and it's crazy what it, uh the spirit of Molik is that the spirit of ritual sacrifice. It's the uh, it's a burnt the, the spirit of a burnt offering. This is uh when you it's all it's associated with burning people or children uh, to some to a deity. Uh, this uh, I mean the Molik goes back to Minerva to uh, Lilith. There's a bunch of different Isis. Uh, uh, Ishtar, the goddess of uh, heaven, queen of heaven. Uh, these things all have some kind of association there. I mean, especially back to the Greek, especially when it comes to that owl. Like I said, in the Indian culture, at least in mine, an uh, owl is a symbol of death. So, I mean, in their culture, it's a symbol of wisdom. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the it also symbolizes those that see in the dark. The uh, basically that means the below aspect of uh, the control structure, which means kind of like the shadow government. This is all uh, things kind of uh, are referenced when you uh, use this kind of symbolism and terminology and uh, allegory. Okay, uh, but anyway, yes, this symbol of Molik is the, the spirit of ritual sacrifice to this deity. Uh, it's a fertility deity. It's like basically if you slaughter this innocence, we will bl the spirit world will bless you with uh, you and your family with many life. Because think about it. If you're the controlling people, what you want to do is kill the population of the slaves and rape all the slaves with your people. So basically everyone's related to you and then... Uh, will give you even more control. I mean, these are the type of reasons why they do these sort of things. I mean, it's it's deep. It's sociological. Uh, it's cultural engineering, uh, social, social engineering. But anyway, in Nazi Germany, why did they uh, mark everyone with this six-point star, this star of Moloch, to... Uh, it, to in a holocaust also is a jewish word that means a ritual burnt offering so who are the people that really planned it if the if the nazis hated the jewish people so much why did they use uh this sort of jewish mysticism occultic code to mark the ones that they killed it's almost like it's it's weird like i think i even heard hitler was so against the jew he was half jew Kind of like, uh, you know, the the story of the uh, evil nephew in the uh, Ojibwe culture. This dude was quarter Ojibwe, so he took his uncle and uh, burned him. And then the uncle burnt the nephew to death. I mean, uh, it's the same, this ugly uh, culture of uh, this nastiness. is It's a worldwide phenomenon, and it happens, and a lot of the time it's it's inner race violence or uh it's the people sometimes who it's willie lynching big time because willie lynch even was like you rape the black women so you make this race of half white half blacks that will be confused and you can use that confusion to sow confusion in the ranks of the whatever this oppressing culture that you have and they did it with the indian people as well it's actually, it's almost like you, you create this system that the people impose on themselves. And it seems like, you know, this has been done in the Jewish culture as well. And I'm not sure if there wasn't some of this picking on each other. And then after they did this, they just blamed it all on Hitler. After they kind of maybe uh, 
you know, uh, got him all revved up, and pumped up behind the scenes. And he was, someone was provoking him. I mean, the same thing over here with our race uh, baiting. Uh, they're poking at people, getting them stirred up, getting them ready for a, a ritual sacrifice, a, a Moloch sacrifice. Like, almost like David Duke and then people, wait, not David Duke, that's KKK, never mind. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave something at Waco, Texas. That was a ritual burnt offering to Moloch. 9-11. Ritual burnt offering to Moloch. Benghazi, Moloch. Ragstag event, Moloch. Uh, Nero burning the Rome and blaming it on the Christians. A Moloch ceremony, ritual sacrifice, burnt offering. Uh, these things, you know, this, this it's a lot more common than you would think. You know, uh, they do that burning man ceremony. I know that's real hippie, but it's based on these same concepts, uh, these fertility, uh, death out of chaos religions, these cults, the, we'll build the pyramid on top of the graves of the former inhabit inhabitants. I mean, this is a philosophy, and a lot of people are very into it, like, they wouldn't be into it in public, but on the low, in the private circles, they worship this Margaret Singer Agenda 21, UN Luciferianism, <laughs> that Albert Pikeism, you know, Willie Lynch's. This all is the same. These are all tentacles of the Hydra. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, I mean, Infogard's symbol is a Hydra. You know what I'm saying? Because it means we're going to infiltrate all the infrastructure and we got our private hood, our, our brotherhood of private members. This is private sector e-i-e-i-o corporatist people's taken over through the shadows man this is we are poised to be the next sacrifice to Moloch to the six point star the upside down triangle uh the upwards triangle this whole uh merging of the divine feminine and or and then the divine masculine basically it's just a fertility cult it's it's nimrodian it's that uh bale and ishtar man i'm telling you all over again it's the same shit over and over and over and it just been told with you know slight variations uh same shit over and over and over again nothing new under the sun